Hello beautiful people. How are you guys doing? Hope everybody is doing amazingly well. Welcome back to another lesson of English with Ashish. And guys, in this lesson, we are going to master relative pronouns. We are going to learn everything about relative pronouns. This is going to be a very detailed lesson. And this is going to be a quiz at the end of the lesson to check your understanding. Make sure you try that quiz as well. And make sure you watch the lesson until the end. I'm excited. I know you guys are too. Let's do it. All right, everybody, the very first thing we'll do is we'll understand what exactly a relative pronoun is. Then we'll look at different types of relative pronouns and then we'll understand them one by one. Okay, what is a relative pronoun? A relative pronoun is a type of a pronoun that comes after a noun, sometimes a pronoun. It generally comes after a noun and identifies it. All right, it comes after a noun or a pronoun, generally noun, and identifies it so it comes in the beginning of a relative clause which is another name of an adjective clause understand this a relative pronoun is a type of a pronoun that identifies that uh, relates to a noun or a pronoun and it comes in the beginning of an adjective clause which is also called a relative clause all right now these are the eight relative pronouns we have in english who, whom, which, that, whose, why, when, where, these are also called relative adverbs sometimes, all right? Now, let me show you some examples and make you understand. We know a man who can help you. We know a man. Men who can help you. So who is the relative pronoun coming in the beginning of this relative clause, adjective clause? Who can help you? See, this is the uh, relative clause, also known as an adjective clause, giving information about the noun men. Who is the relative pronoun identifying the noun men coming next to it? Right. And it's coming in the beginning of this clause. Who can help you working as its subject? We know a man, what kind of a man who can help you? So this is the relative clause that's giving information about the noun man, giving essential information, important information to identify which man we're talking about. We know a man, not any man. We know a man who can help you, right? And who is the relative pronoun here? Identifying the noun man coming before, coming after it, right? Virat Kohli, who is an amazing cricketer, has started his own clothing brand. Virat Kohli. Who is an amazing cricketer? Adjective clause, relative clause, whatever you want to call it. And who is the subject of this clause? Relative pronoun coming in the beginning of this clause. Identifying the noun Virat Kohli. Virat Kohli, who? Who? Virat Kohli is an amazing cricketer. So here it's giving extra information about the noun Virat Kohli. Virat Kohli is a specified person, a particular person. So whatever information we give about uh, Virat Kohli is going to be non-essential extra. So here the adjective clause is giving extra information. It is non-essential adjective clause. But in the first example, it's giving essential information. Do you know the person whom John is standing next to it? Do you know the person, which person, whom John is standing next with and whom is the relative pronoun coming next to the noun person, identifying it and it's coming in the beginning of this clause, whom John is standing next with. But it's not working as the subject of this clause. The subject is John. John is standing next with whom is just a conjunction, a pronoun, right? Whom John is standing next with. Again, giving essential information about the noun person. Do you know the person? Which person? Which person are you talking about? We are talking about the person whom John is standing next with. Max lives in Goa, which has amazing beaches. Max lives in Goa, which has amazing beaches. Goa, which has amazing beaches. Relative clause, relative pronoun coming next to the noun. Goa giving information about it right identifying it giving extra information i haven't seen any person whose parents don't control them i have not seen any person whose parents whose whose relative pronoun referring to the noun person referring to its possession i haven't seen any person whose parents don't control them all right relative clause adjective clause and this is a relative pronoun you need a job that matches with your skills. You need a job. What kind of a job? That matches with your skills. 
what kind of a job that matches with your skills so that is the relative pronoun coming in the beginning of this relative clause adjective clause identifying the noun job what kind of a job what kind of a job you need you need a job not any job you don't need any job you need a job a specific job that matches with your skills all right adjective clause giving essential information about the noun noun job identifying it telling us which job we are talking about the speaker is talking about all right now uh, let's understand all these pronouns one by one okay that be better for you to understand each and every pronoun in a better way we'll start with the first one which is who okay so who is used to identify a person it can only be used to identify a person not a thing you cannot use who to identify a thing just a person all right and it can uh, be used to give essential information and also non essential information all right uh, okay we'll take some examples and understand this example number 1 do you know a girl who can do this job if i just say do you know a girl this is this is a complete sentence it does have a meaning but if i say do you know a girl who can do this job now it's a different sentence it has a different meaning do you know a girl any girl i'm not talking about any specific girl i'm just saying do you know a girl any girl in the world now when i say do you know a girl who can do this job i'm talking about a particular type of a girl all right do you know a girl which girl who girl who can do this job adjective clause right and who is coming in the beginning of this adjective clause relative clause identifying the noun girl do you know a girl which type of a girl who can do this job not all the all the girls in the in the world only the girls who can do this job specifying the noun girl all right essential adjective clause giving important information about the noun girl helping us to identify it all right next example virat kohli who is an amazing cricketer has started his own clothing brand the example that we just seen now virat kohli is a proper noun who is an amazing cricketer adjective clause i have a separate lesson on adjective clause as well you can watch it it's a very detailed lesson all right uh, virat kohli who is an amazing cricketer right who relative pronoun now this clause is offset using commas as you can see it has a comma before it it has a comma after it that means it is a non essential adjective clause a uh, relative clause right that means it's giving extra information about the noun virat kohli this piece of information is not essential to identify virat kohli virat kohli is a proper name is a specified name it's always going to be a proper name whether you know virat kohli or not whatever information you give about virat kohli is not going to help us to identify this person it's already an identified person all right and since this uh, piece of information is non essential extra we have offset it using commas that's why commas before and after it all right more examples people who do meditation live a peaceful life people people which people not all the people in the world see people live a peaceful life original sentence this means all the people in the world live a peaceful life but is that true no that's not so i'm making it clear people who do meditation right who do meditation talking about which people i'm talking about who do meditation relative clause adjective clause who is the relative pronoun identifying the noun people coming next to it people who people who who do meditation live a peaceful life essential adjective clause we are going to meet rahul who is my college friend see we are going to meet rahul now we are giving information about rahul who is my college friend who rahul coming next to it relative pronoun but extra information giving extra information that's why we have a have a, a comma before it sorry comma after it rahul comma who is my college friend right that's how we use who to refer to a person can give essential information can also give non essential information all right next is whom whom is used to identify a person only cannot be used to identify a thing only a person right it can uh, it can give essential information also give non essential information and it has to be the the noun it identifies has to be the object of the relative clause very very important 
you will only use whom when the person it identifies is the object of the relative clause understand that okay let's, let's take some examples and understand this the girl whom i'm dating is a professional box you know what i'm saying the girl whom i am dating i am dating whom i am dating somebody the girl so the girl is the object of uh, the verb dating which is uh, the verb in this clause adjective clause whom i am dating and that's why i am using whom can i use who here yes i can the girl who i am dating i can say that as well but if you want to sound technical grammatical you you should use whom but who is fine to refer to an object of uh, a relative clause or the adjective clause the girl whom i am dating is a professional boxer all right giving information about the noun girl and whom is the relative pronoun coming next to the noun girl identifying it giving essential information about it uh mangesh whom we are training as you from is my brother so we have a comma before and after this clause that means this is giving extra information so whom is the relative pronoun coming in the beginning of this clause identifying the noun mangesh which is the object of the preposition uh in this clause right adjective clause whom we are training as you from from whom mangesh mangesh is my brother original sentence right and this is a non essential adjective clause okay next pronoun that that uh as a relative pronoun can be used to refer to a person as well as a thing it can refer both a person and a thing and it only gives essential information about the noun it identifies very very important to note it only gives essential information uh, let's look at these examples and understand this the box that you sent me yesterday i'm talking about that box the box that you sent me yesterday that relative pronoun coming next to the noun box identifying it the box that you sent me yesterday that coming in the beginning of this clause that you sent me yesterday all right talking about a particular box the box that you sent me yesterday was empty i'm not talking about any box all right identifying a thing box my father gave me a robot that can cook food my father gave me a robot what kind of a robot that can cook food adjective clause relative clause that relative pronoun coming in the beginning of this uh clause working as the subject of this clause and identifying the noun robo right giving essential information about it and here in the in the first example it's not working as the subject right it's just working as a pronoun working as a conjunction the subject of this clause is you last example i know the man that is walking on the rope i know the men complete sentence but we do not know which men you are talking about so adjective clause i know the men which men that is walking on the rope the man that is walking on the rope i know the man which man that is walking on the rope relative pronoun identifying the noun men coming after it coming in the beginning of this adjective clause working as the subject of this clause right i know the men identifying a person it can identify a thing a box robo box sorry thing also a person men right but only gives essential information do not use that to refer to a person or a thing to give non essential information don't do that you can use who or which to do that going forward we'll understand that which which as a relative pronoun is used to identify a thing only a thing cannot be used to identify a person and only gives non essential information non essential information only right identifies thing non essential information examples my phone which was very expensive got stolen like last night my phone which was very expensive just commenting on on the phone my phone which was very expensive not helping us to identify the phone which phone my phone got stolen last night this is the original sentence which was very expensive is the relative clause relative pronoun is which identifying the noun my phone but giving extra information about the subject about the noun my phone all right my phone which was very expensive got stolen last night identifying a thing last night all of us was titanic all of us watched watched what titanic which is my favorite movie titanic which is my favorite movie adjective clause relative clause 
which is the relative pronoun coming next to it but since it's giving extra information we see a comma after the noun titanic see in the first example as well we offset this uh, a clause using commas before and after it right here also we have a comma since uh, it's it's at the end of the sentence we're not using a comma at the end of the sentence we have to use a period all right so that's how we use which next is whose uh whose is used to refer to the position of a person right can also be used to refer to a position of a thing very rarely we do that but can be done right uh, identifies both a person and a thing generally a person rarely a thing gives both essential and non essential information and shows the position of the noun identified the noun it identifies it shows the position of that noun let's look at these examples and master this bob duru bob duru whose books are my favorite amazing writer bob duru whose books whose books bob duru's books are my favorite is coming to india original sentence is bob duru is coming to india soon we are using this a relative clause adjective clause to give in information about the position of this person bob duru bob duru whose books are my favorite whose relative pronoun identifying the noun bob duru talking about its position bob duru whose books are my favorite is coming to india next week coming to india soon right since it's giving extra information about the noun bob duru we have commas before and after non essential the minister promised to give a job to the woman whose husband died in the accident the minister promised to give a job to the woman which woman whose husband woman whose husband identifying the noun woman and talking about the position of the noun woman whose husband died in the accident so whose is the possessive sorry relative pronoun right uh, identifying the noun woman talking about its position right and this entire clause adjective clause relative clause is giving information essential information about the noun woman identifying it telling us which woman we are talking about right ac group ac group whose membership is free is getting closed so aec group is a particular group and the original sentence is aec group is getting closed whose membership is free is uh, is an adjective clause giving extra information about this uh, noun aec group talking about its position aec group whose membership is free is getting closed right that's how we use whose now the last three relative adverbs we generally call them where when and why all right let's understand these one by one we'll start with the first one when when uh, is used as a relative pronoun after a time word which is generally time or day or hour or year right examples do you remember the time when we used to play here do you remember the time which time which time are you talking about when we used to play here right adjective clause when is coming in the beginning of this adjective clause it's the relative pronoun relative adverb also you can call it right do you remember the time which time when we used to play here right when is referring to the noun time identifying it coming next to it coming in the beginning of this clause as well do you remember the time when we used to play here do you remember the day when we celebrated your birthday here something like that right we want to forget the year when we lost our best friend mali we want to forget the year if i just end the sentence here we don't know which year the speaker is talking about right so that's why we're using an adjective clause or relative clause to give information about the noun year we want to forget the year since it's a time word we have to use uh when we want to forget the year when we lost our best friend mali that's how we use when next is where where comes after a place word which is generally a place or area or spot or road generally it's a place all right examples i know a place where we can spend some quality time 
said my girl i know a place which place where we can spend some quality time so where we can spend some quality time adjective clause relative clause i'm modifying the noun please and where is the relative pronoun relative adverb coming in the beginning of this clause identifying the noun please giving information about it essential information i know a place i know a place any place in the world no not any place in the world i know a place where we can spend some quality time i'm talking about a particular place i have a place in my mind all right rahul peed on the spot rahul peed on the spot second form of the verb pee susu all right rahul peed on the spot which spot where you eat where you eat adjective clause where relative pronoun relative adverb uh, modifying uh, identifying the noun spot coming next to it right coming in the beginning of this clause as well again giving information about it now so we use where why why comes after the noun reason it always 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 comes after the noun reason right and identifies it gives some information about it look at the examples the reason why you lost the job is your greed the reason is your greed original sentence i mean it's technically correct uh, grammatically correct but we don't know the reason right so adjective clause identifying the noun reason why coming in the beginning of it I identifying the noun reason right giving information about it the reason which reason why you lost your job is your greed right adjective clause why is coming in the beginning of it identifying the noun reason right and modifying it nobody knows the reason why he left this company nobody knows the reason complete sentence nobody knows the reason why he left this company right why coming in the beginning of this clause coming next to the noun reason identifying it that's how we use uh the pronoun why hope you got it now some important points that you have to keep in your mind right very simple these are number one relative pronouns can also refer to pronouns as i told you in the beginning of the lesson relative pronouns also refer to pronouns right they generally refer to identify a noun but they they can also refer to or identify pronouns as well look at these examples give him something that he can eat give him something that something that he can eat something again a pronoun we need someone who can manage our websites we need someone who someone who someone pronoun indefinite pronoun who can manage our website who relative pronoun right so uh, a relative pronoun can also identify a pronoun generally it identifies it comes after a noun but it can also come after a pronoun point number 1 point number 2 who can also be used in place of whom who can also be used in place of whom but do not use whom in place of who right in modern english uh, we generally use who in place of whom but whom is really really formal is really technical so if you want to sound technical grammatical use whom do not use who in place of whom so examples call the man whom we interviewed yesterday call the man whom we interviewed right object of the verb interviewed call the man whom we interviewed yesterday we can also say call the man who we interviewed yesterday we can also say call the man who we interviewed yesterday whom is more formal so it's your choice all right number 3 that refers to both people and things the relative pronoun that refers to both people and things so uh, feel free to uh, use it to refer to a person or a thing the guy that is standing next to your car or the guy who is standing next to your car is a thief that's your choice both are possible the guy that that is used to refer to a person i still have the book that john gave me in 2012 i still have the book book that that john gave me in 2012 that referring to a thing book all right so that as a relative pronoun can refer to both a person and a thing so guys these were relative pronouns hope you have mastered them hope you've understood everything about them now i have a task for you on your screen are some examples or some sentences with the blanks obviously you guys have to choose the right relative pronoun and fill in the blank and answer in the comment section below and i will check your answers and uh, correct you if needed so that's all about today's lesson guys hope you enjoyed it hope you loved it uh, if you did make sure you like the lesson
hit the like button if you guys are new to this channel make sure you subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends so that it can help those people as well and if you have any questions any doubts do let me know in the comment section below and you can join our facebook group facebook page instagram page and i'll see you guys very soon till then keep learning have fun i love you all you know this i'm out namaskar